100. 100. It's the 100th day of school. It's the 100th day of school. Do, 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 do. It's the 100th day of school. Because of that, I have a guest that came to be on our video today. And that guest is Mr. Centipede. Yep. Hi, I'm Mr. Centipede. Yep. You have two legs? Well, I have way more than you. Uh-huh. You do? Yeah, I do. Oh, well, I have two legs right here. I do. What do you have? Oh, man. I have one hundred legs. You want to see them? You want to see my legs? You do? Okay. All right. Let me show you. See? All right. Here I go. I will travel along right here. I will travel along your video. And look at all the legs I have. I have a hundred legs. I am a centipede. I am a centipede. I am really cool because I have a lot of legs. Way more than you. Uh-huh. Okay, but we don't have to be mean about it, do we? Oh, no. I love you. Okay, me too. All right, guess what, Mr. Centipede? We have a book about you. You want to see it? Yeah, I do. All right, let's check it out. Okay, you can sit on my shoulder, Centipede, with all your legs. How many legs? 100. Oh, yeah, okay, 100 legs. Can you imagine that, you guys? Wow, that would be a lot of shoes. All right, the book actually is called Centipede's 100 Shoes. Oh, cool. All right, so page one. Here's your centipede. Oh my gosh, that looks like me. Yeah, okay, just hold on. Let's look at what it says about you. Ow! The little centipede was not looking where he was going, and he hurt his toe. Ooh, but thing is, he has a lot of toes. Okay, let's see what happens. But which one? Not this one, or this one. Mom will know. Moms always know that she will know which one. I'll kiss it better, said mom. Is it this one or this one or this one or this one? Or is it this one or is it this one? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of toes to go through. At last, mom found the hurt toe and kissed it. Everybody make a little kissy sound. to make it better. Tomorrow, you must get some shoes, she said. Hey, do you have shoes? You know what? I don't. Oh, well, this caterpillar is going to get some shoes so it doesn't hurt his feet. Okay, let's check out what happens. Let me make this full screen better. Early the next morning, the little centipede's mom took him to the store. 100 shoes, please, said the little centipede. I need 50 left ones and 50 right ones. Because you guys, you know, you have two feet and one of them is your left foot and one of them is your right foot. This centipede has 50 left feet and 50 right feet. Feet. Whoa. That's a lot of feet. Uh, <clears throat> why do you want 100? Asked the shoe seller. Well, because I'm a centipede. Which means a hundred feet, said the little centipede. Okay, all right. Do you want lace-ups or buckles? Said the shoe seller. What do you guys think? What do you think the centipede is going to choose? Do you think the centipede is going to choose lace-up shoes for his hundred feet? Or is he going to do buckles? What would you do? They're both kind of tough. Okay, here it is. Moment of truth. The centipede chose lace-ups. Lace-ups, please, said the little centipede. Lace-ups. Let's do this. So, what happened? The centipede tried on those shoes. 
There he goes, trying them on. Oh my gosh, look at all those stacks of shoes. And he has to put them on every single foot. 50 left feet and 50 right feet until he found ones that he liked. And the shoe salesman wrapped them up. That's a lot of shoes to wrap. The next day, the little centipede put on his shoes. It took a long time. Then he had to tie up all the laces. And when at last he finished, he had 58 shoes left over. What? So he got on all his shoes and all of his hundred feet, but then he had some extra shoes. And then there's his grandpa over there. You see him? That's that centipede over there looking at him that looks kind of old. He said, that's because most centipedes have only 42 legs, said his granddad. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? A centipede? That means 100. But his grandpa's saying, well, actually, most of us only have 42 legs. Hmm. And then it was bedtime and time to start taking the shoes off again. Oh man, so yeah, by the time the centipede got on the shoes, it was already time to take them off. So it was time for bed. And there, there's the clock. I'm just noticing what time the centipede goes to bed. Looks like it's eight o'clock. What time do you guys go to bed? Is it around eight o'clock? I go to bed at nine o'clock. What time do you go to bed, centipede? Eight o'clock, just like the book. Oh, <laughs> how cool is that? The next morning, the little centipede put on his shoes again. This time he was quicker and he was better at tying the laces. Look at that, he has to tie his laces with his little antennas up there. That's a lot of laces to tie, but guess what? He's smiling, he has a good attitude. So after lunch, he went for a walk. Oh, mom, he cried. My new shoes hurt. Do you guys ever get that where you try on new shoes and you're wearing them the first day and your feet hurt? Well, imagine having 42 shoes on and they all hurt. They hurt. And he's saying, mom, they hurt. And the mom said, well, honey, that's because you have no socks on, said his mom. Oh, no. Yeah, she is so right. Check yourself today. Are you wearing socks? I know I am. I'll show you. I'm actually wearing boots. There they are. Whoops. Can you see my boots? There they are. Oh, there they are. And I'm wearing socks with them. She is so right. Shoes feel way better when you wear socks. And plus, if you don't wear socks, what happens? Your feet hurt and your feet end up smelling and so do your shoes. Oof, you take off your shoes and it's like, oh man, that stinks. Okay, so it is a good idea to wear socks. Okay, anyway, the little centipede then had to take off all his shoes again. Because what did he have to do? He had to put on socks. Okay, then what happened? And then his little aunties all began to knit some socks for him. Aw, look it. She's making little socks. And do you remember how many socks this centipede needs? Because it actually wasn't a hundred. Remember what the grandpa said. Most centipedes only have around... You might have to look back at that number. Do you remember it? Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I missed a page. There it is. The next morning, the little Sonny Pete put on all his socks. There they are. He put them all on. He had his lunch. Then he started to put on his shoes. Okay. It's like an all-day process. Right after supper, he went for a walk. There he goes, out for a walk. Is he wearing his shoes? Looks like it. My feet feel fine now, Mom, he said. Well, guess what, honey? It's time for bed, said Mom. 
Oh, 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 how sad it is. He just got on all his shoes to go out for a walk. And now what did his mom say? It's time for bed. Oh, man, mom. So the little centipede took off his shoes and tumbled into bed. You can't go to sleep in your socks, said his mom. Does your mom make you do that? Do you have to take off your socks to go to bed? His mom makes him take off his socks. So he took off his socks as well. Holy cow, that takes a long time. The next morning, the little centipede looked at all the shoes and all the socks. <gasps> oh, he sighed. I don't think I'll even bother doing it today. Why? Because it took him all day yesterday. So he put his 100 shoes and his 42 socks into his little wheelbarrow. Look at that. He piled them all up. And what is he going to do? Do you see what it says? It says, oh, er. For f er e free. Let's read that again. For free. Oh my gosh, what is he gonna do? He's gonna give them away for free. And he gave them all to friends with fewer legs. So look at the spider. Does the spider have 42 legs? No, the spider only, only has how many legs? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, that would be so much easier for a spider to put on shoes every day. How about uh, this little insect right here? That one only has one, two, three, four, five, six legs. So much easier and the ladybugs, and the grasshoppers. Oh, it's so much easier for them. So he gave shoes to five spiders, four beetles, two wood lice, and a grasshopper. With socks for five spiders, and with enough shoes and socks left, uh-oh, he had some left over for two, what are those things? Worms, because guess what? A worm only needs one shoe. But if you get another worm over there, now we have two worms that make a pair. So now we can give two worms a pair of shoes. <sighs> what did you think, Centipede? Uh-oh, let's see what Centipede thought. Oh, that was so cool, seeing a book about a centipede. And now I know I'm not weird because I always thought I was supposed to have 100 legs, but I only have 42. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? All right, people. You know what, centipede? That was fun reading with you. Well, that was fun reading with you. I'll see you guys in your school. Bye. Hey, would you mind if they count your legs? Uh, no, I don't mind. I think I have 42 because that's what they said in the book. But remember, he just said a lot of centipedes only have 42 legs. Some have more. Okay. Oh, okay. Bye.